Just testing out one of these uh, fans I have to test for a friend of mine. Three phase, but uh, modify them to 240 volts. So they technically 400 volts, but um, happy to work fine. Um, but here's why I got three the brown and the blue ones are together, so that's the phase. This white is probably some sensing wire. I just put a capacitor. And that's um, I'll do the start and it runs actually quite well. Redo this again because numbers are a bit clearer now. Two ampere, four fifty one watts. Visualize it on the meter too. We got a meter here. Contact electric. And we visualize the event on the J3S meter. Also in this video I will explain how to uh, run a three phase motor on single phase. Like in this case the three phase 400 volt fan can run perfectly on single phase. By doing a few checks and um, I'll sketch that out on paper and by means of a capacitor it can be made to run in other direction. This particular arrow is pointing to the left so I put a capacitor in this setup and I'll show also when I swap the wires over. Uh, the meet the fan will in the other way. Coffee time first. Cheers. Let's see, you want some of this? Milk. Come on, make some sound. Well, let's talk the connections. This is the way I've connected it up. Single phase supply. Grab any of the two phases. And that's the way I've connected the motor up here. And we turn it on and you'll see nothing will really happen as such. It may move a little bit. And the motor is humming. Nothing happens. Current is 300 watts stationary current so technically a motor could burn out under those conditions. It's a 400 volt motor on 240 so it should be okay. Now I'm going to add a capacitor. So we got our three phases going in, we only use two phases of the motor running, so I'm going to put a capacitor. Let's try out between the neutral and the spare capacitor and see what happens. Now I've connected the capacitor here. And we're going to turn it on shortly. The blue wire with the bit of bare copper is in the middle phase on this one. It's connected with the neutral of the mains and the white wire goes to the other side of the capacitor here. I'm going to plug it in now and see what happens. Rotation. Um, the arrow says it goes the other way. It's a three phase machine, so a single phase rotation change is quite easy too, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll leave the capacitor on the spare free leg, and which is the neutral at the moment. I'm going to swap the capacitor lead up to the active, and it will give me a change of rotation. I'll sketch it in the paper as well. 
Okay, now I've disconnected the capacitor from the neutral and I brought the wire up to the other side to the active. And I'll show you on the real motor shortly. Here I'll swap the wire with a bit of copper and a clip on the middle face to the top face, which is the active, the brown one, which goes to my plug, which goes to the plug which sits here. And we're going to plug it in. And you'll see the rotation uh, will have changed. We'll plug it in again. Energized device. So it's relatively easy to run three-phase machines on single-phase. Okay, this is not a heavy-loaded device. Uh, bigger motors may need more capacitors. Um, if you talk horsepower, big horsepower motors, you need a lot more capacitors. Luckily, I got heaps of capacitors. I got a box full here, and I got another big box full here. It's important with capacitors; they're all uh, rated for the appropriate voltage. Uh, 240 volts, you need a minimum of say 400 volt. Rated capacitors 400, 450, 500 volt. So uh, yeah, there's some spare capacity, and the installation of the capacitor will not fail during the experimental. I hope it helps. Uh, if there's any questions, just put questions in the in the box below the video. Thanks for watching. This is uh, the fan for Conrad. He's one of my colleagues at work. Uh, this is part of the pre-checks before we start doing anything on uh, converting this motor and uh, just have a look at this. So you got an earth wire here that should be grounded, that's on the casing. Okay, this one, there's three sets of wires here. So th at this stage the motor looks like it's delta wound, so that's the three phases basically. So we're gonna use one set of these for the 240 volt supply and then the other one for the that's the spare floating wire which is for the capacitor to create a field. These two white wires might be for Teco. Um, good practice is to do an uh, ohm test on it, just ohm them out, have a bit of an idea what is actually what. So I'll measure these through here, so I'll go from these to this one to that one. That gives me about 39 ohms. That one to that one, that's about 40 ohms. And from that one to that one, that gives me about 39.8 ohms. So these are the actual phase wires. I can check these other two. That gives me a reading of 0 0.4 ohms. It could be a pulsing device or something. I'm not too worried about those. So I'll show you the numbers on the meter as well. These were the here are the readings. I'll show them again. That's about 39 ohms here. Um, the next two, that's, there was a little bit higher, that's about 40 ohm value. And the other phase, about 39 ohms. There we go. As long as those readings are more or less the same, uh, usually indicates the windings are okay. Uh, between the windings and uh, earth is uh, open circuit, which is uh, good, that means there's no failure there. I could do an insulation test, but um, I just wanted to check it. So basically, the capacitor goes either between the active and the spare leg, or between the neutral and the spare leg, to change the rotation of the device.